Most times, we plan, but fate has its own plans for us. I love you, Scarlet. Heaven knows I do. From the very first moment I saw you, all I ever wanted was to own you. Not as a property, though. As a wife, an equal. And I've done that for the past decade. And I must say, it's been the most memorable years of my life. You will also agree with me that the past couple of years have not been smooth. You fight and argue over the tiniest of things. There's no week that goes by without a fight. It's not the kind of environment I want our daughter to grow up in, as it will certainly affect her understanding of marriage. So, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm moving out. I'll be staying at a friend's hotel until I get an apartment. tried to talk to him. There was nothing to talk about. His mind was already made up. And you? Is your mind made up? Have you even considered that perhaps he just wanted to know that in spite of everything you still wanted him? And that everything he said was just to get a reaction from you? Come on. Since I understand that you guys have been having it rough for some months now. But no marriage is rosy forever. There are bound to be times like this. And it's your ability to stand firm through it that makes you a couple. Wait, don't you think Nathan should be the one you should be cancelling right now? The last time I checked, he left. I am still here. You're my sister. Mommy, Daddy's wristwatch. Hey, thank you. Hey, baby! Happy birthday oh, to you! Remember <laughs> how so sweet of you. Wait for it. Oh, this is so beautiful. You like? 
like it. I love it, put it on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, put it on already. For it, for it. Loving my day. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh. Let's look at it. Oh, it's good on you. Oh, Very beautiful. Thank you, darling. <laughs> mm, how did you get to pull this off? We were together the whole day. I told you I'm a magician, but you didn't listen. I believe you. You didn't believe. I believe you now. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. I really? love it. Come live with me. Yeah. This will turn. Oh. This is just a temporary arrangement. I'm working something up, alright? Come live with me, baby. I'll think about it. No, 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 I'm not gonna take Yeah, that's a cliche. Oh, think about it. I'll go with you. Okay, okay, fine. I will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love it. Let's go celebrate. Let's celebrate this. Yeah, sure. I know a place. It's okay. Son of God. <laughs> 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 He's not picking. May please call him again. Let me just see who it is, okay? Just a moment. Where's Scarlett? Hello? Um, Mandy wants to speak with you. Hello, Daddy. Hey, my baby. How are you? I'm fine. I missed you, so I asked for me to call you. Daddy misses you more. You didn't go to school today. It is midterm break, Daddy. You don't know anything about my school. My bad. I'm sorry about that. I forgot. I come to take me out today. Oh. Uh, maybe. Maybe not today, but I certainly will come this week. Promise. I promise. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. I love you too. So, I'll talk to you later. Alright. Bye. Yeah, where were we, baby? Come on, baby. I, I know. Claire. <laughs> No. But I want ice cream. And I said you can't have ice cream. Why? Because I said so.
talent. Your test result is it good? How bad? Very bad. But I stuck to the routine. I know, I know. But I have to keep you here for some days to monitor the situation. How many days? But what I see here, let's say minimum two days or maximum five. Just to balance situations. I, I can come back a day after tomorrow. Is that, is that okay? It's okay. Just at your time. I'm here to serve you better. So, what's up? You sounded really urgent on the phone. I... I want you to look after Mandy. Why? Just for a few days. The doctor wants me for a few days. Hospitalized? Something like that. Something like that? What? What are you not telling me, sis? Nothing. He only said my condition is getting worse. I thought you were responding well to therapy. So I thought. I'm leaving town for a few days. You remember the event I told you I had to handle in Lagos? It's this weekend. My team already left this morning by road and I'm supposed to join them. First flight tomorrow. Have you told him? About your condition, I mean. Come on, sis. Don't you think it's high time he knew? And do what? Maybe I would have considered telling him. Scarlet. What? What? Keeping you waiting. Yeah, you sure did keep me waiting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's good news. Ooh. Yeah, the event I was planning for the vice president's son yeah. is this weekend. Mm. So I was hoping you could come with me. Are you asking me on a date, Mr. Milton? Get out. <laughs> Why am I even asking you? I know you want to come with me. Say it. Say yeah. To you. I <laughs> <to> kill you. <laughs> of course I want to. <sighs> Can't she just leave us for once at least? Yes, Scarlett, what is it? Look, Nathan. I'm getting tired of this whole thing. I thought you and Scarlett were divorced. Yes, we are. So why does she keep buzzing your phone and making demands? She even calls you more than I do. I, I need you to come. Listen, listen. Scarlett and I are divorced, yes. But my daughter still lives with her. She didn't call me to go spend time with her. She asked that I stay with my daughter for a few days, babe. I wonder if I'm not cool with you bringing her here. Just not coming with me, babe. 
it. You're going over to stay at her place. Scarlet's place. Hey. straight home. No ice whims. Baby, I was hoping you wouldn't ask that since your mom warned me to take you home straight from school. I haven't had ice cream since you left. She mustn't know. Agreed. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You missed it, yeah? A lot. Don't worry, you'd have one every day for at least the next few days. What? Yeah. The mom is traveling. You know what that means? It's you and daddy till she returns. Yay! <laughs> well, you better finish up that because we're almost home. You're not gonna have to put me into trouble, would you? So finish up. Day. It was fine, Mommy. Daddy told me they are traveling and he'll be staying with me. Yes, my darling. Mommy has something very important to take care of in Katuna. Well, I'll be back before you know it. Hmm? Don't worry, Mommy. Take your time. What? Mommy, what? Mommy no. so pull off your uniform so you get ready for lunch, okay? My baby. It's me. Just sleep. Yes. I wouldn't sleep anywhere else. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, my baby. How did you sleep? Fine. Yes. I stayed up watching you sleep so beautifully well. Now, who is the prettiest girl in the world? Me. Who is the sweetest girl in the world? Who's my little angel? Me. It's all? Me. <laughs> no. No. You're gonna have to do more than that. Uh, no. No, you're gonna bribe me. Bribe me. Bribe me. Bribe me. No, no, no. Bribe me. Bribe me. Bribe me. 
Right me. No. Okay. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you give up. Teddy bear, help me, Teddy bear. Hey, you give up. No, I'm not giving up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, 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 you win. I won. I won. I won. You. I won. I hate you, Teddy bear. He didn't help you. He didn't help me. Please make sure she does her homework and play less. She's a lady. So you mean ladies are not supposed to play? I didn't say so. Well, she's my daughter too. So I'll make sure she's good to return. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, yes. I'm in, I'm in Abuja, sir. Right away. Okay, sir, I, I can be in Lagos in the next three hours tops. Oh, okay, okay, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Hey, hey, babes, um, guess what? I need you more than ever right now. Please, please. Yeah, please, please. Thank you, thank you. Hey, babe, you're a... Uh... Lifesaver, baby. What is it? <laughs> what? Remember the Lagos event I applied for last month? The governor's event? Yeah. Okay. So the, the aid on special duties just called that the governor wants to see me right away. Yeah. Can you imagine? He's in Abuja? No, no, no. He's in Lagos. Oh, shh. I can make it to Lagos. I, in fact, I have uh, around three hours to be in Lagos. I checked and there is a flight to book in the next 40 minutes. So I need to really go catch up no, on wait, that flight. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're leaving for Lagos now? Yeah. And your babysitting duties? Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. This can't be what I think it, it is. It is clear. It is. I'm afraid it is. It is clear. I just need you to watch, you know, watch her for me. A few hours, I'll be back. You're I'll be back. asking me to look after someone else's child. It's my child, Claire. With what are you your ex-wife. Do you think she would like that? She doesn't need to know. <laughs> and okay. Mandy wouldn't I'll be tell back her. in the evening. Forget about Mandy, she's my daughter. I can handle her, okay? Babe, all I just need you to do is just watch her for me. In the next few hours, I'll be back. Okay, okay, fine. I think I can do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I haven't forgiven you for leaving me alone in the house. At least to the list of offenses. <laughs> Baby, come, come, come. Take care, say, okay. Come. <laughs>
Hey, Mandy. My name is Claire. I'm your dad's friend. He asked me to come pick you. I'm so, so sorry. I had one or two things to do. So that's why I kept you waiting. I see you've already closed. I don't talk to strangers. Of course. You're your mom's daughter. Daddy, where are you? Hey, baby. Daddy had an emergency and had to run off. But I'll be back this evening. Auntie Claire is a friend. So, do you take care of you to every time of you? I can take care of myself. <laughs> of course you can. I know, baby. She's just there to help. My ice cream. Yeah, she'll get that for you. Give her the phone, please. Uh, please get her ice cream on your way home. Babe. Sorry for the stress, please. Say the apology to you How's the homework coming? It's fine. Need my help? Yes, 
Let's do it again. Practice the last one, alright? Yeah. What are you saying, Nathan? Yeah, so I'm very sorry, baby. I, I was talking with the governor when he had an important call. And then he asked one of his aides to, you know, take me to the hotel. In fact, I'm actually waiting for him uh, at, at the roadside now. He's supposed to meet me up here anytime soon. So, you're saying you're not coming back again today? I'm very sorry, baby. Please. Hi. Nathan, I swear I will kill you. <laughs> Baby, I think he's the one calling now. Um, I'm gonna have to call you back, okay? Please. Okay, so when it's dark her, I'll go make you dinner, okay. Oh, Mandy, it's still broad daylight. Okay. Mandy. I don't know. She was. I don't know. She said she wants to go and pick something. I don't know. She just left. Daddy. What, what? Hey, baby. Where did you go to? I went to the toilet, but was occupied. Sarah, she's the one down the street. Baby, you don't do. You don't do that. You you got us all worried, all right? Mandy. You don't behave Mandy. like that. Come. How are you? Are you okay? Mom, I'm are you all right? All right? She, she's yes. okay, Scarlett. She just went down the street. How to... dare you? How dare you leave my daughter with a total stranger? Claire is not a stranger, Scarlett. She's my... This is the first and the last time you will ever leave my child with a stranger. Don't you ever leave my child with such a person again. You just... Wow. Claire. Scarlett! Scarlett! You didn't have to talk to Claire like that. She was just trying to help out. I can't remember asking her for any help. Well, I did. To hell with the both of you.
doing? Why? Because of what happened? That and many more. Who, who does your ex think she is that she could just be talking to anybody the way she pleases? I'm done with all this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the way she talked to you, but that's not enough for you to just come and want to pack your things and leave. Like hell, it is enough. I'm tired of having Scarlett constantly in my face. Scarlett calls you every time. Every frigging time, Nathan. Does she even know we're dating? Does she? Not officially yet, but I intend to tell her right away. No wonder you keep, you've been keeping me in this hotel for at every, you just annoy me right now. You've been telling me different reasons why we've not moved from this place. I, 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 I get it. Uh, I get it now. Uh, I've been a fool all along. I, I totally understand. I understand. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm totally sorry. understand. Listen, no, no, no. look, look me, I, I, I got this for you from the airport on my way home. Because I know, I know how I, I've stressed you these past weeks and I wanted to say, Sorry, and to, to show you that I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Put the ring in my finger or I should go back. Of course I won't. On your knees. <laughs> Where? You back. Close it. Put it. Ah. told me what happened. Sis, I really don't understand what's going on with you. But you've changed. You used to be very calm and calculated. How am I now? Harsh. Temperamental. Irrational. Claire was just trying to help you. You didn't have to embarrass her in public like that. So you're taking her side now? No. I'm just trying to understand what's going on with my sister. What is it that's changing you so rapidly? Maybe you're not the one that death is hovering around. this
daddy for me. Why? Because I forgot to tell him that my cake has to be pink. He knows that already. Every lady likes pink. But I want to tell him. Call him yourself. Claire, you're coming for my birthday this week, right? That's true. Please tell Daddy to make my cake pink. <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy. I'm making it myself, and yes, it will be pink. Thank you, Auntie Claire. You're welcome, darling. Take care. And declare said that she's, that she's making my cake pink. Yay. to invite Auntie Claire. Stay with me. 
Baby, I wish I could, but Daddy has a lot of work to do at home. Auntie Claire, will you stay with me and play? Um, <laughs> I'll be helping Daddy with his work. You stay with my dad. Daddy, hey, baby. can I follow you so I can play with Auntie Claire? Uh, uh, Mandy, tomorrow is school. You have to go to bed, okay? Yes, Mommy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Bye Auntie Claire. Hi. I have gone through all the reports gathered throughout your stay with us. Scarlet? I must be frank with you. I don't think you have much time left. Or what? Or what? Listen, chemotherapy can neither cure nor control the spread of this cancer. It can only help to shrink tumors that can cause pains and pressure. These tumors often continue to grow back. It could have been controlled if we started proper treatment earlier. How long do I have? A year, six months, or even lesser. You know, one cannot predict this thing. My dear, just go home and leave every day like it's your last.
mean? I've been calling you. You've not been answering my call. What is it? What happened? I'm going back to my family. What? I'm going back to Scarlett and Mandy. What are you even saying? We're getting married. Where's all this coming from? She's dying, Claire. Who's dying? Scarlett, my wife. Did you just call her your wife? Scarlett, my wife, has been battling with cervical cancer all these years. And I was so, so insensitive. Not to even notice. And now I'm told she has little time left. Moments count for something. Scarlet, 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 Scarlet. What about me? What about us? What about this? All Scarlet ever wanted was to have a family. Something she never had since. How she was growing up. Even if it's the last thing. Telling you will be like trapping you in the, in the marriage you already wanted out. Trapping me? Scarlett, I'd rather be trapped with you than be free anywhere in the world. Not to talk of knowing what you're going through right now. That's exactly what I didn't want. You told me that you always lived your life for your parents while growing up. And then I came in, and it was all for me. And then Mandy. I just wanted you to have your freedom. I'm sorry, Scott. I should have noticed it all. I, I, I just missed it. That explains the mood swings, the curses, the, the, the harshness. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to leave my daughter. I don't want 
Come. Last night, and I promise I'm not going to leave you again. Thank you, Swell. Thank you, Swell. Okay. <laughs> so, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a bag of mints. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. I'm very, very tired. 
let me go freshen up. I'll come join you, okay? Help me. Oh, Mandy, I know your mom isn't feeling too well. Allow her to rest, okay? So who's going to help me with my homework? I'm afraid you're going to have to figure out that for yourself. I don't know, Matt, man. I'm not good with it. I wish Aunt Claire was here. The last time she helped me, I got excellent. Hey, uh, what is I thought you were asleep. I woke up and didn't see you inside. Oh, sorry, I had some things I needed to tend to. Are you okay? Every mother wants her child safe. It doesn't matter if it's with her or with anyone. I'm sorry that my condition made Nathan to leave you and return to us. You don't have to be, Claire. It was his decision. Nathan loves you, Claire. Look, I'm sure you didn't come all the way here to discuss Nathan and I, so just cut to the chase already. I want you to... I want you to move in with us. What? See, my daughter Mandy is fond of you. She is so fond of you. And I, I have limited time left. I want to, I want to trust my daughter into someone that, that she trusts. Last I checked, you said I wasn't good with children. What changed? That's why I want you to move in with us. So at least I could just, I could put you through with the little time I have. What makes you think I'll be interested? Claire, I'm begging you. Please. Ready to Here I come. Ah, you cheated! You no, cheated! I cheat. You cheated! I swear. Look at you, you cheated! You cheated! You, you cheated! You cheated too! I was you. on my Come here! Come here! I saw no. you! <laughs> I saw you! You cheated! I didn't I'm going cheat. to crucify I'm going to crucify you! I didn't cheat! I'm crucifying you today! Nathan. Claire? 
Um, so guys, Claire will be staying with us henceforth. that um, since I have limited time to leave, I, I just wanted to make adequate preparations for when I'm gone. I don't follow. My concern is that when I'm gone, I want you and Mandy to be happy. Mandy's comfortable with Claire. I thought you didn't want her anyway close to Monday. But that was the irrational me. Of course, as always. You love her. I see the emptiness in your eyes ever since you got back. You came back because you felt pity for me, not because you love me. Death is inevitable. I want to leave Mandy with who she's comfortable with. And you, the woman you're in love with. And Claire, what does she stand to gain in all of this? You. You. That's all she ever wanted. That was why she accepted to do this in the first place. In the end, we all get what we want. the most important part of everything. 
the most important part of everything. The do's and don'ts in the house. The do's and don'ts in the house is very important. I don't joke with it. Do not play in the kitchen because you're not a child. No garlic. Not even a pinch. No garlic. Any seasoning at all whatsoever. No garlic. We have it, of course, I'm sure you can go through the rest. But please, this is very important. It's right. And, um, clear. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, join them. Decent lady. Always carries a No, Mandy. The meat is for your daddy. and irrational response to everything concerning Mandy. 
She is also my child for crying out loud. And I love her. That woman you just chased away loves her too. Otherwise she wouldn't agree to coming into this home. You begged her to come out and, and, and you turn around to insult her? But Nathan... There are no bots, Scarlet. You are just insensitive and selfish. And I am tired of putting up with your attitude, your lackadaisical attitude and recalcitrant attitude. You know what? You want to deal with everything yourself? Fine. Yeah, I'm just done. I'm done with everything. Scarlet? 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 Scarlet, are you, are you okay? Scarlet! Oh my God, what have I done? Mr. Nathan? I wish your wife's situation was attended to in time. I mean, life could be very unfair, but... Doctor, I don't need a pep talk from you. Go straight to the point. Okay. Well, your wife has a few days to leave. I'm sorry, Mr. Nathan. I would like to... take my wife back home. I want her to spend the rest of her days in a home with her family, if that's okay with you. That's fine. Just try to be the best husband you can be in these trial times. She can't just die like that. And we are here, but can't do anything to save her. Trust me, Nathan. I've asked that question over and over and over. That is just rhetorical. The most important thing is that she finally gets what she has always desired. A life with her family. 
with you and Mandy. This isn't what I desire. Bearing Scarlet. It's not what I think I can do, Mark. Don't look at it like that, bro. Just look at it as giving her a fulfilled life. Choosing to come back here and spend her remaining days with her and Mandy is the best thing that you could have done for her. Trust me. You may not have been able to save her life. But at least you save her soul. So let's just try to help her enjoy whatever little time she has left here on Earth.
I, I, I can't. <laughs> oh gosh. Claire. You. You are a perfect replacement. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Wait! A decent lady always carries a handkerchief, Mandy. Thank you, Mommy. Take care, darling. Bye. Yeah, see you later, babe. Bye, sweetie. Love you. Love you too. I'm trying to be like you, Scarlett. 